My name is Glory, and this is my story. Growing up in a Christian family, I was privileged to be born in a home where my dad was a pastor. I pretty much grew around the things of God. I was familiar with the Christian lingo, as you'd say it. I eventually gave my life to Christ at the age of 15 in SS3. And since then, I had an unquenchable thirst and hunger for God. I mean, I would go on days, months, fasting, seeking the face of God just to know him. I graduated top of my class in the uni. I studied robotics and artificial intelligence. I mean, while on campus, despite studying such a course, I still had such unquenchable hunger for God. I still made sure I was diligent in the student union. And you know, we would go for retreats, we would go for outreaches. I was used to powerfully strange dimensions of the spirit. I would prophesy and I would see them come to pass just like that. God used me severally. He used me in different cities. I started getting calls all around the country to come and minister to people. My life was going on perfectly. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? You know what? I was proud. I was confident. I trusted in myself rather than trusting God. I expected people to treat me like a goddess. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I had so gotten used to the ways God would lead me and teach me that at some point in my life, I felt like I had the whole formula figured out. And as they say, pride goes before the fall. And that exactly was what happened to me. Hello, Sandria. Hello. Yeah, um, my name is Barista Femi. Okay, and hi. I'm very sure you'll be wondering how I got to know about you. But one well, year. But the truth is that I was going through good my. Good afternoon. Ah, good good afternoon. afternoon. Happy Sunday. Yeah. Same to you. So I was going to my IG page and I came across you. Oh, I see. You've been stalking me on Instagram. To be honest, the minute I saw you, the Spirit of God told me you're the one for me. You're the one for me. Hmm. And immediately, a false witness in my heart. Yeah, I don't want for me. <laughs> so, well, that takes a whole lot of guts to walk here and just mm -hmm. tell me that. Well, mm -hmm. that's confident of me. I, I like so, that. Because I understand what the Spirit of God was telling me. So I took the next part immediately to come see you. So that I can be in your program today. Mm -hmm. And you know what? What a present. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God is in here. Glory to and God. And the Lord is really using you. Glory to God. Glory to God. To God, Lord, to reach out. I'm very sure you're my wife. Well, you know, the thing is, I still have to pray about this. This isn't something you just dabble into. So, I'll still take my time to pray about this. Well, no problem. The Spirit of God is one. Yeah. He said it once, and I heard it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my wife. So, pray about it. Definitely. definitely. Before I go, can you please give me your number? Yeah, sure. Okay. And, oh, it's here. Just like you. Yeah. Alright. So, um, nice meeting you. Same here. Thank you so much. Alright, thank you. Hi. Like I am just so into everything. Thank but, you. You know, from the way it looks, we actually 
do have a bit of time before it starts and I have been meaning to ask though, how's everything been with you? Like, how's well, it going? It's been okay, ministry has been great, you know, we've been getting calls and invitations mm. here and there, it's mm. just been, it's been awesome. Okay. Yeah, but then I've been having the gist I've been meaning to tell you, but of course, you've been busy. Uh, okay, don't uh-huh. sue me. <laughs> well, you have a gist. So. Alright, talk to me. That's all right. I think I've met the one. Wait, what do you mean the one? As in the, the one, the one. Oh, 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 oh. that's the oh, one. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Tell me more. Yeah. I'm listening. Okay, his name is Femi. He's a barista mm-hmm. from the states. Mm-hmm. You know, apparently he he found me on Instagram and he's been following my ministrations. And I met him. Well, met in person a while ago, and he said God told him I'm his wife. Okay. All right. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why? <laughs> You're seriously not buying this, are you? Well, the thing is, I've prayed about it, and I pretty much have peace about it. You know, he he loves God. He loves ministry. He's he's into the things of God, and I see no reason why I shouldn't go ahead. Okay. You know I love you. You know I want what is best for you, but I mean. Haven't you, like, really taken out some time to really think about this? Because, I mean, from the States, telling you you're his wife. (laughs) Sweetheart, God works in mysterious ways. I mean, someone met his wife at the well, busy fetching water. Other people, they were laying at the feet of their husbands. So he defines me on Instagram. God works in mysterious ways. I've prayed about it. You, you know me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a baby in the things of the spirit. I know how God speaks to me and all that. So, I'm sure He's the one. You know, I, I seriously, I. <sighs> okay, With anything. I'm gonna... You should just be happy for me and let's start planning a wedding. Oh, yeah. Let's let's take it easy on that. I, I, look. I'm just gonna come out and say it yeah i really do hope that i am wrong about how i feel because it's it's not really adding up for me i mean i just i just want you to really think about this okay mm-hmm. like you really need to take some time out don't be overcome there yes i know you know you're the smart woman that you are Hello, and all yeah. but i i really do want you to like take some time and think about this okay don't be too yeah. confident you know the bible even says it that let's he who thinks that he stands mm-hmm. take heed i'm blessed you for so just give it some thoughts all right no okay Thanks. just yeah. keep praying along keep praying along huh? so i just oh, okay. I, I just I, of course for you i hope everything goes well always Definitely. always Thanks. always mm. Mm. Yeah, so I'm still here, but I'm coming very soon. You know, as usual, I got the, you know, I got the fish already, the big fish. You understand? But I still need to do something like, you know, I will just chill it. I will update you, okay? I will update you. I will update you, yes? Um, it depends well. I just finished with my client now. <laughs> I'm expecting the money, my guy. It's very good money. <laughs> yeah, it did well, it did well. So my picker will pick it, you know. I think we'll pick it up very soon. Yes. Alright, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. I want to drive.
Problem. Hope everybody is fine. Get me something to drink. Ah, enjoy. Go. Ah. Where are you? Come and charge this thing for me, yo. I should put my mouth and drink water. Ah, Mama, sorry, I'm coming. Hey. Mm. Hurry up, po. I came here for serious business. Come on, damn it, Drew. Okay, Mama. Uh -huh. Let us try. In fact, take the water. Sit down. Ah. Mama, hope no problem. Mm. I'm sorry. Ma? I had to tell you this dream last night about you. Yeah, Mama, because of dream, that's why you came all the way from Ibadan. Is he here. not worth it? Ah 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 ah. Phone call could do now. Peyikayo. Hmm. Ma? Peyikayo. Yes, Mama. I can feel it in my spirit. That you're about to make a terrible mistake. Tell me, are you seeing many nights? Well, uh, yeah, but how does that relate with your dream? Do you know? So, who is this person? Where did you meet him? What does he do? Mommy, so well. Mommy, his name is Femi. He's from USA. He works with a law firm. He's doing pretty good. And his mom even calls me Yo. Yeah, okay. Is he born again? Have you pre what is God saying about it? Okay, see, mom, I know you're concerned about me. I am, and mommy. I appreciate it. Honestly, I appreciate your concern. But mommy. At my level of spirituality and the anointing of God upon my life, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Oh, mommy, have you forgotten that on multiple occasions, I've received word of prophecies concerning you. And these prophecies have come to pass. I've even prayed for you, mommy. And we've seen manifestations. I'm not doubting it, Feikayo. Feikayo. Yes, mama. Feikayo. Feikayo. How many yes, times did I call you? Three times, ma. Hmm. I know that I might not be as anointed as you are, and I might not be used by God like you. But I want you to know that I'm also a child of God, and I am a mother to you. Remember the adage that says, "In kotak balak babari to bajuko, to modi ba gungiro ko koleri yo." How can you hear clearly from God when you have a superiority and God complex already? Or do you think because the anointing was given to you, you deserve it? It was given to you and it can be lost if you don't guard it jealously. It can be lost. I want mm -hmm. you to take notes and meditate on these verses I will give you. Yes, ma'am. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 says, Therefore, let anyone who thinks he stands take it lest he falls. Even Proverbs says that for the Lord is your confidence and he will keep your foot from being caught. Feika, you are becoming proud. You are becoming proud. Most of the meal. And also, pride has a fragrance. It stinks. Nobody wants to be with a proud person. Jora, be here, Feika. But, Mama. And be prayerful. Me and Mr. Jubel. Family one got to Mama. Go wash it. Tell me something. Today, Amala. Hot one, no.
today <laughs> have you seen how is your day going babe are you there yes yes, yes. I'm, I'm here i'm here yes yeah, so i was thinking um is it possible you could come visit me tomorrow let's say 8 p.m But that's what I can do, okay? And what about if I can come over to your apartment in the afternoon tomorrow? Is that okay by you? Okay, I love you, baby. I love you too. Bye. <laughs> it passed the holiness test. Hey, babe. Mm. Oh, you're here already? Yeah, the door is open. You can just come in. All right. Ooh. Hey, babe. Hey, I'm good. Mm. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm Hope okay. you slept well. I did. I did. Mm. Come in. Come in. I'm not looking bad. It looks so good. Thank you. How's been your day also? It just good. Yeah. It just good. That's nice. How is mom? Mm, mom is doing okay. She came here some days ago. Just short visitation. She went back the same day. I actually prayed for her yesterday. Aww. I my that's so sweet of I you. So much love and so much. Yeah. Aww, that's so sweet. Mm. She can't also wait to meet you. Yes, I can't also wait to. Yeah. I can't wait to. <laughs> yeah. So I've ordered Domino's for us. Okay. Yeah. So they should be here within thirty minutes. But till then, uh, can I get you something to drink? Hold on. What about that problem you told me you're going for like two days ago? How was it? Oh, it was powerful. Powerful. Okay. The Lord moved. Lives were saved. Captives were mm. set free. People mm. received healing. Mm. It was just powerful. I actually trust you. I know what God is doing to you. Glory. And I can see your glory is shining on me. Glory. So glory. Mm. So I'm happy I met you. Thank when you. When I knew you and my wife. I was not kidding. God showed me in my wife. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, so probably maybe you can just give me water then. Okay, sure, no problem. Hey, babe. Yeah? Is that my water? Yeah. Okay. Ah, this is not cold now. Oh, you want something cold? Yeah, something very chilled. Something um, chilled. I Anything don't have, have cold chill. water, but I do have cold juice. Right, okay. Right. That will be better. That will be better. Seeing, you know, as I've said before, yeah. you're actually my life, you know, seeing you in my dreams mm -hmm. everywhere. And I thank God I actually went on my IG page that mm. day to do your ministry. Yeah, you know, God actually spoke to me, He said it once and I did it twice. Like, glory is in God. <laughs> and thank God is your living back in here. Glory, thank God you're living back in here. You have a movie you'd like to watch? 
Um, there's this movie that just came out. I don't okay. know, I'm not a movie fan like that, but have you seen this Manzayan movie? Oh, I know there is one at the jury. The, the new season oh. 5? It's season 5 already. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, we can watch that. You need to see I that should start it yes, yes, season yes, 5 yes. for you. Yes, so, yes, no problem. Yes. So babe, we're meant to go for um um for one retreat together. Like babe. Babe, can you hear me? Babe, can you hear me? Like there's this retreat you're meant to go together, you know. I'm very sure you're going to like it. Babe. 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 Oh, you're sleeping already. Let me just take you to the um let me take you to the room to sleep very well. Huh? Babe. Babe. Hey. Babe. going on huh? no 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 Oh my god. No. No. God no. God no. No. Ah. It's ruined. He had sent the videos to all the bloggers. My name, my shame was all over the internet. I was devastated. My parents were disappointed in me. My ministerial associates were disappointed in me. No one wanted to be associated with me. At some point, I attempted suicide. I pleaded that God would take my life. I was tired of living. I was tired of dealing with the pain the shame, the hurt. I was sick and tired of it. But God wouldn't. I attempted suicide. Every of my efforts proved abortive. I learned my lesson. I learned the hard way. I became humble and asked that the Lord would forgive me. And the Lord in his infinite mercy, who says if we confess our sins, is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. He forgave me. Oh, he forgave me. To my young people out there, be patient. 
be sensitive. The Bible says, test all spirits. And let him that thinks he stands, take heed, lest he falls. 